of the Vita, uh, I just saw the new Vita that got released because uh, I was just checking YouTube and my home recommendation uh, was a Bungie live stream saying the next chapter uh, about the whole entire shadow. I think it's called Out of the Shadows or something like that, right? And I'm not going to lie, seeing it, I'm like, damn, man, if only this was five years ago, holy shit. But I, I just, I, first of all, I don't like Lucifer, but let's get that out of the way. I don't, I, and I hate the fake acting that Vita, it pisses me off. But again, seeing behind the scenes, seeing all the shit they're working on, that's pretty dope. You know, the whole entire finishers, that's pretty dope. But again, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm an asshole. And again, I, I want to be wrong. I really hope that this DLC will finally fix everything that's been wrong in this game for the past five years. And maybe it really was Activision this entire fucking time. Maybe. But I don't know. Maybe I'm putting on my tinfoil hat and saying, maybe this is all like a perfect cover-up to excuse why they've been acting shit for the past, you know, five years. Because again, I've, I've read the documents, like, Activision, the only thing Activision really wanted out of them was the microtransactions. Like, if you look at everything else, they had little to no involvement in the creative control of Destiny. So I, I, I don't, I can't, this isn't the first time they released a Vidoc saying, we're, it's our Destiny now, it's, it just, this isn't the first time. This isn't the first time. This, again, this isn't my first rodeo, cowboy. Am I, am I excited to see Shadowfall and all the shit that are coming with it? Yes. Will I buy Shadowfall? Most likely, yes. And now think about it, yeah, that just made me a massive hypocrite, but Destiny 2 is the last last chance. Last chance. And this DLC looks like it will fix everything. And I know it's ridiculous, right? At this point, you have to buy DLC to fix the fucking game. But I, honestly, I like this game too much. I, I will take that chance. And it, this is their final chance. If this, if this DLC does not deliver, and I'm not, I'm not expecting anything. I'm just expecting a fucking game that works. So if this DLC delivers, then my faith will be restored. If it doesn't, I am done. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for anything. I heard they were going back to Black Guardian. It's nice. I've seen uh, seen some of the new exotics. They look interesting. All I'm asking is for the game that we were promised five years ago. And Shadow whatever looks like we're getting closer to that. But honestly, again, I cannot stress. I It's so hard to believe the words at this point. I don't care what anyone says. I can't. Not that I don't care, but it's so hard when people are saying, "Ha! Ah, it's all Activision's fault." When you look at these, when you look at these letters and all these contracts, and you notice that it wasn't Activision didn't have any, like really any any involvement in the creation of the game. So again, watching the Vidoc and Luke Smith and all their fake acting, saying, "Oh yeah, this game world isn't alive," but whatever. Fuck Luke Smith. Things to go suck my day. But I don't. I just. I don't. I don't know. Because, again, they're showing off all the back scenes and people in the creation lab playing Crucible. And I saw a guy losing Luna's Howl. I'm like, I don't know, man. Because I've, I've seen, I've seen, if you remember live streams a couple years ago when they used to show their crack team that used to be the best of the best, they sucked ass at Crucible and shit that they did. Even in the raid, people noticed that they didn't get any rewards because they probably practiced the raid before they did it on stream. That's whatever. But the overall arching message is what I'm saying is last chance. And I keep saying last chance, but this is the absolute last chance because again i will not buy the season pass but honestly again like with forsaken i could justify buying forsaken because what they what they laid out was a lot of content and a lot of shit to do that's why i can still play this game without having the season pass shadowfall looks like there's gonna be a lot of content and a lot of things to do so looking hopefully hopefully that price range is not above like if it's forsaken like 40 i'm fine with that 60 that's no deal for me but i really hope and again, I've said this, I don't know, I, maybe I've never said this on my YouTube channel, but I'll say this now. After all these rants, after all the shit I've been taking, all, all the shit I've been talking for the past five years, I honestly hope they prove me the fuck wrong and I'm just some angry fucking stupid 13 year old making, making videos on YouTube complaining about a game he knew nothing about. I really hope that's the case. And with that, um, is, is it okay to be excited? Yes. Is it okay to be hyped? <laughs> fuck it, you, you do whatever you want. But again, as a person, I don't know. I've, after seeing all this shit, there's just there's always in the back of my mind just the slightest, slightest like this, this hesitation. But anyways, with that, thank you for watching and um, go watch the Vidoc. There's some interesting shit, and yeah.